Warning, this game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. Let's play Resident Evil 5 Capital. Alright, let's get this started, and we're going to go on original. Resident Evil. Because I'm not a beginner, and I don't like a range mode. And we're going to be playing as Chris. Even though he has the uh, tougher game than Jill does. But that's half the fun, isn't it? Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Star's members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Chambers, Albert Wesker, Resident Evil. They have escaped into the mansion, where they thought it was safe. Yet. I don't know what happened. Barry! Where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No. What 
is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. I don't kind of understand his logic, but okay. Take care. I love those door opening scenes. Okay. I need to get reacquainted with these controls really quick. Hope no one minds. Okay. So now I have my knife. Can aim up, aim down, middle. You know how that goes. This clock is taunting me. Take that. And look, there are scuff marks on the floor. Chris doesn't notice them, though. Uh, we don't want that yet. So we're just going to go in this door. I love the tension in these door opening scenes. What will we encounter? Oh, Jesus, it's a zombie. Well, no, it's not Jesus. Okay, okay. Can I knife this guy? I forget if I'm any good at knife combat in this game. Not at all. It also doesn't help that the camera is transitioning a lot. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> Don't knife fight a zombie if you can avoid it. Well, I guess I should report my findings to people in the hallway. Wait. I have an emergency. Where did you go? Wesker? Jill? You guys helpful. What happened to Jill and Wesker? I don't know, but they left us a present. <gasps> it's a gun. I guess I can forgive them because they left me a gun. What kind of fool wouldn't take the Beretta? Oh, and one really neat thing about this game. That wasn't carried over into the new ones, or, well, not the ones d directly after it. You can examine items from every angle. And that's really awesome. Okay, so now we have a gun, and uh, let's check out this front door. Chop the dog's head off. Okay. Anyway, now that we are equipped with a weapon, we can take out that zombie. Come on, Chris, you can open doors faster than that. So I don't know what happened to the gun he had in the opening sequence. I guess he threw it away. Oh wow, I'm terrible. Okay. Aim with R1. And unload into his face. Then finish him off with the knife. Because they're not dead until they spew blood. That's very important to know. He's also become a corpse. A corpse with bullets on him. It's not a clip, it's a magazine. You think
think being in the elite rescue squad you would know that, but maybe I ask too much of Chris Redfield. Also, check out his groovy head. Totally groovy. Yeah, you want to reload from the inventory whenever possible, because it sucks getting caught in combat. Just completely half-cocked. Which is sort of a contradictory statement. Does this have a quick turn? Well, I don't think it does. I think that was added in the later games. It also doesn't have strafing. I've been spoiled by Silent Hill, what can I say? <laughs> 